What's up guys? Happy New Year and welcome back. So it's 2020. I know I have been away for the longest time of my life. So I'm sorry for that. But rest apart, let's just start this video. Um, this video is not about my gameplay or montage or highlight. I am here to talk about this. Well, yes, Paragon. Well, the game was scrapped by Epic for Fortnite because it didn't have enough developers. After that, they released a lot of assets on the market. But a lot of people have come down on this game and its assets since they are free. And there have been a lot of remakes. By remakes, I mean these. Yes, that's Ford, Predecessors and Core. Along with that, there's another thing called as overthrow. I don't know much about it, but I'll I'll highlight upon it. So let's start with Core. Core was the first Paragon substitute or aka Paragon 2.0 that I got to know about. Since I didn't get enough time to play para Paragon, I wanted to play Core. But you know the development was slow. The people inside their discord they didn't respond much the community was absolutely crazy about them but somehow core development team felt short and nothing was really going on at that time and i also got detached from that discord like i didn't know anyone to talk to or how was the development progress there were patch notes that were coming out about what things were going on in the studios how they were working on it blah 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 and all that so that that's just code cool. they just completely stopped then came a game called predecessors i got to know predecessors last year during the last quarter probably and fault both of these games i got to know along the last quarter and uh, i was in the predecessor discord i spoke to a lot of people and you know after a lot of you know chit chat what was standing was that predecessor was still in development there were some alpha testers but they were very limited and the gameplay footage was also very limited no one knew what was happening uh, other than the developers themselves and uh, there was a lot of murmur and jabber around it then one day i got to know about this game along that same time called as fault now what's more promising about fault than predecessors was that in fault there were actual there was an actual Indiegogo project in which they were offering keys. But other than that, there are also keys for early access. Since I live in a potato place and my internet is completely shit, I was able to get any keys on time. But people have been playing Fault. You can go to Twitch directory and search Fault and it is still there and people are playing it. And they have said that it is really nice. I have seen the gameplay of it. A lot is similar yes the graphics aren't polished the UI is not polished everything is not detailed but yes it is still more promising than predecessors and core and you know like whatever other things there are that I don't know about and the best thing about fault is you can go to their discord you you can have your own account in fault you can log in and whenever there is a key wave if you are early enough you will be able to get a key and there are also streamers that are giving away keys on Twitch. So if you don't have one, you can just go and take them. I would suggest if you are from Asia, um, kindly talk to everyone. Because I haven't talked about servers. I don't know if there are servers, yes or no. But since I play a lot of games on Europe, I really don't have a problem. Now let's come to Overthrow. I got to know Overthrow. I mean about Overthrow. Probably like a week or two before this like today's date and what was interesting was that it was already there in front of our eyes but hidden overthrow didn't have any media any publications it was just there on a steam group where they had a discord link i never joined the discord because already i was in so many discords and i didn't want to go to another paragon remake but if it looks promising enough, I will surely jump in. Not only that, in, 
like there are no key system in overthrow you can directly have the client being asked from the developers or the moderators and they will just give you the client you can just go to the you know overthrow discord and you will get to know everything about them there are few videos about how to play overthrow on the internet i mean a simple search is enough to find them and my experience with overthrow is very less but both fault and overthrow looks very promising for any paragon fans out there these two games are to look out for i do not know about core i am uncertain about predecessors whether they are going to have any open beta or any kind of beta at all but other than that these two games are to be looked out for i do not know if there are any other remakes if there are do link them do name them in the comments but other than that i do not know right now Mm, and this is that this is a small talk on how paragon 2 is being made i know it's 2020 this might be a boring video and since i wanted to get back i didn't have enough time so this was a short thing that i made up and since i wanted to play paragon a lot this is what i am trying to get into if this is this game is good enough so thank you guys for watching do like do share do comment and see you guys next time bye bye Oh, oh, oh.